CBD wheat. Oh, trash. That boy Ben Hicks took the flight and caught the ball. The My whole formation is nice. Hey, stick a butt. Why are you going? Oh my god, bro. What the? Fuck the controller, dog. Hey, what you making that noise for? Nigga sitting there, dog. One yard line. Thank you. This man, this ball do not lie. So this nigga really sitting there and like, I really hate that shit, dog. This nigga really gets some picks off of some garbage shit. Yeah, 
and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. A second and ten coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Come here, Touchdown. So to Nigga threw the ball straight to coverage. Two covers, dog. The man said still the man was sitting in the back of the end zone. I don't know where the I don't want to do it right now, but I got something for it. I'm about to make you pass this bitch. This shit here makes me, dog. I quick off of one nigga, dog. Yeah. I quick off of one nigga put me on my lineman, dude. This shit here be garbage, dog. I swear. You're exactly right. It's a former defensive back. That was not played well at all. But get credit to the offense and get credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. No score. You're looking at me, Fustick. First and goal. A chance to convert that early turnover into points. Try to pound it in. Come here. Oh, my baby. Yeah, you going outside. Yup. She going outside. Fuck that. Thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Yellow. The offense 
takes a penalty, has his back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs on first and ten at their 25 yard line. What the? No, I hate this. A lot of pass, dude. I really need a controller, dog. They go to throw a lot of passes, nigga. Nicky. You would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. And they took the shot downfield. They were more than prepared for that one. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Seventeen to go to New Orleans first down. It's a game of seventeen yards. First down, Saints. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. He's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought him down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Boy, I need another controller, boy. This <laughs> is garbage. <laughs> oh, my God. And I can't get on my goddamn phone. This shit hit garbage all the way around. Look at, look at this shit, yellow. Nigga really walking, son. Alright, Jimmy, here we go. Sure, they stay positive 
but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to the bases, you use your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get in his hands. Let's do it. 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 He can't do what I want to do. My fuck the trailer like stupid as a motherfucker. Once more. Taking a deep shot here for Hartman. And a return across midfield. And a little six yard line. Oh, is he Look at this dog. Nigga really throwing live passes. Have the 
lead and set to receive the kick. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively again it's Camara and some room to work weaving through traffic Alvin Camara 72 yards and the same. Go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. Down Lutz to kick it off. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. From the 21, it's second and 10. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. By the Saints. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. A man who's been busy this afternoon is Kamara again. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. The tackle made. The last run got six. Now second and four. Brings up second and four. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 19-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On the ground, this is Kamara. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 
Rodgers into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Taking it in from the 20. And this offense continues to pour it on. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Taken in the end zone. And Hill will opt for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? And now here is another interception. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment find the football and he's done so quite well that one 28 yards on the ground from down at the 12 it's first and 10 working from the gun it's breeze that's complete to his running back camara and this play goes nowhere losing yardage back to the 15. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Pass incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So out comes a field goal team now for the second field time here today. Field goal. A 34-yard attempt. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Brings up second and third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and ten. They go play fake. Mahomes. Complete the tight end Kelsey. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. 30-yard line. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touch, on to kick it away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, switching gears for a second. Uh, look, Charles, we know it's part of the game, but injuries, again, a big story in week five. Most notably, of course, Dak Prescott. Pretty severe ankle injury that's going to keep him out the remainder of the season. And that's really just the latest in what has been a tough, tough year already. Guys, you could probably build an all-pro team, Charles, with some of the guys who have gone down. Yeah, an all-pro team and at worst a Pro Bowl team because you're talking about names like Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants, Cortland Sutton with Denver, Marlon Mack, Indianapolis, Nick Bosa, San Francisco, all of them. Injuries that have them lost for the year. A breakaway for Michael Thomas. Touchdown, New Orleans. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Century Link Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we, as the Seahawks get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there.
thought that I was talking the whole time. Talk to my old lady. Yeah, man, she need it. Yeah, okay. This is the Oklahoma State alone, Chris Carson. That's, I kind of figured that when that nigga did that. But. I'm in that run defense. I'm in that run for me. So I'm in that fucking trip and I'm living. So Ray's going to leave his sights out of here. First and 10 at their own 25 yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Out of the backfield, it's complete to Kamara. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards is in there. They're dealing with a second long. If you're a self-proclaimer, and you're going to throw the ball, you can throw the completion. Maybe that's a throw the yards. Yeah, you went backwards on the yards. Hey, that looks like a sack for the defense. He has a really good play for the game. In a heavy traffic, he gets it to set it to him. Oh. Bruce! Get in there, big boy. Dial him up, King. There it is. 
the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14, nothing over. There we go. As they come up first and 10. We got some for that right now. Yeah, there we go. Turn me up. Turn me up. We stop in that way. Yeah, nigga. All I need to find. All I need to find. Show me. I'm the best at it, and he did it Bobby! He ain't breaking out the formation. I want him in, I want him in that formation. I'm living, I'm living the three, four, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm living. I'm living. That nigga Moss is a good player. I don't tell you that Michael Thomas burnt anybody, bro. Michael Thomas not even fast. This nigga, we're gonna get pressure on the screen pass. That is crazy. By Jamal! I'm living with any other one in this one, B. Let's go! Send him. Send him. Here in the second quarter. 
Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 24. He gives it off to Carson, and he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Ball carrier, they give it four yards there, it'll be second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. At the 28-yard line. Yeah. They run it with Carson. He finds it over and past the story. Powering his way forward. Oh, we go. Oh, my, look him up. And he's going to take this all the way deep down to the Saints. 19 yard line. There's a big play there. I'll see you at the bottom. 53 yards. I'll be quiet. First and 10 out of the game. Second and 20. Well, look at my controller. That ball put me all the way right. I couldn't even run left. Move that ball. And he's going to be taken in the near still a couple of yards short of the first. They'll get a couple of yards on that. And that'll bring out fourth down. Myers kick is good. There we go. There we go. He's been on his own. Bobby. Run that bitch all day. Run that clock out. Nigga got a broken attacker after he juke that dude. 
Mr. Brown, 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 Second and ten now from the twenty-nine. Again, it's crazy. Oh, this is crazy. Can't call it. Uh-uh, uh, -uh. That, that jet pass, that's that jet pass right here. Oh, we know. Oh, we know. And he goes I think he was about to run. Offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're down here, but 
very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this? Today? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well. There you go. And wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to over some of the areas and clean up some things because there's a reason they're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up for this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Two runs in a row with only two yards to show for him. The major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, you pointed out to me in half, seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on standing on double teams in the first level. Make sure that block is secure before they slide off and try to chip some money at the second level. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Hit! Well, this is taken in, and it's complete. And it takes us to the other side of midfield before it going out of bounds. 27 uh, yards there on a very nice third down to conversion. Flat so ball. Grab down, flat ball. This is just a pretty day shoot. They're run out of the gun with Camaro. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's nice. second and four. Yeah, what I just said, BCB. I ain't about to fight it. I, I see, I missed the first pick. That nigga with the ball with my motherfucking head. I should have known better. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40 yard line. To throw his breeze. Catch it, dog. It did you? Wonder when it's your day, it's your day, son. I ain't, I ain't even tripping, son. Come back. I got two for Hitler again. What are you going to do? He's going to run. Come on, run this bitch. Jeez, what the hell is Really? Stop, bro. What the fuck? I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here.
This offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try to get here on fourth down? They'll go for it. Here we go with Kamara. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. So give him the first down. First and goal after a pickup of four, and the decision to go for it pays off. I already know what this is too. I ain't fucking triple. Come on. Oh, you two receivers are OP running right. And he takes it across and in the end zone. Touchdown Saints. Taysom Hill. His second touchdown. Should have got Mike. Mike and Thomas Moss. Two niggas. Three. Three times. It's your day, just your day, little brother. BCB. That's supposed to be a goddamn pick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. BCC again with no protection against Ron.
seconds to occur. Wide receivers have to block one down the field. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too. Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. And this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. Got it, don't you hold it up. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. He's gonna find his running back. Not his body. Yeah, yeah, he gets it here right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him in just four. Second down. Second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Running with Kamara. And he'll be brought down on the 30 yard line after a gain of six. I think this is a big hit. 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 We know not every run is going to be a big hit, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Again, it's Camaro. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gig of four. Third and one partner. No need to defend it there. Just use his force and move forward and pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw Breeze. Looking long for Thomas. Hell no, nah, not this time. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on to the contact. Brings up second down. This defense was definitely a little too possible to the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Thank you, because this nigga didn't even play the ball. Hey, let me quick on the dude. They got a 13 yard run for him. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he does a short pickup. As that's going to take us to the two minute warning. So it saves football as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now. And again, it looks like it's going to go down the wire. Swipe. Fuck that. I'm not even. I'm not even trying. You can do whatever you want to do. Swipe. This nigga block. This nigga full time. Hello. Just about every quarterback trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. Bobby, there we go. They run it again with Camara. And he's 
got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. Here in Think you got a good shot here. You should have been bad using one right here. First down. The Saints, Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. To throw is Breeze. And this is caught at the 8. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the 5-yard line. And that one goes for 24 yards. Decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he goes backwards on this one, losing the yardage to the seven. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. He's back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose your yardage. Back at the 17. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. As they get in 26 seconds to go in the football game. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. He'll look to throw. Thank you. Pressure there as it's intercepted. Well, well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, you can see what they were trying to do, just send those guys out there to make a play, but that is a costly interception. Yeah, that's just out in the backyard. Everybody go deep, and let's see if we can find someone. Four verticals in the route. Any other time of the game, I love the call. He could have. He could have ran. He's going to hold safety. He's going to hold corners where then he looks, because they know what the situation is. And don't throw me in the interception. Nah, it's really special. So backed up closer to the danger zone here from the two. This is second and long. So the victory here for Seattle. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they had their opponents on the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game. But when you get one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger. Dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you control is the way that you finish. I can appreciate you in the time you play little league football. All the way up through. And they can close them out with a big time performance down the stretch. Oh. Let's go, Russ. Now you playing some more. You know I was gonna swap that last pass. Fuck that. I don't even about to go for no shit. 